GPT-5 and Cloud Sonnet 4 now have seamless integration with Xcode 26 Beta 7. So in this video, I want to show you how to use these state-of-the-art models directly in Xcode. To read more about the release note of both models, you visit your Apple developer account and scroll down on the page. Then you go to Downloads. Next, you switch from Operating Systems to Applications. Over here, you have noticed we have Xcode 26 Beta 7. So these two models, Cloud Sonnet 4 and GPT-5, are only available in Xcode 26 Beta 7. Over here, you can read more about their release notes. So I'll scroll down on this page and go to the section Coding Intelligence. So when using Xcode 26 Beta 7, you can sign in to your cloud account to use Cloud Sonnet 4. However, once you enable the intelligence settings in Xcode, you get GPT-5 by default. There is also a model switcher for ChatGPT in Xcode. So you can select to work with GPT-4.1 or GPT-5. With GPT-5, there is also the non-thinking model as well as the thinking model. So let's jump to Xcode and see how you can get started. From the top left, the next button to the right of the project navigator is the coding assistant. So once you click that, it opens this panel you have noticed here we have GPT-5 by default. If you are using the coding assistant for the first time, you need to go to the Xcode settings to set it up. So once you come to settings, you navigate to intelligence. So to work with Cloud Sonnet 4, I can choose this option and sign in to my cloud account. I have already enabled ChatGPT in Xcode, but I haven't signed in. I have a paid ChatGPT account. However, we can still use it without signing in to the account under a certain limit. So let's do a small edit for this animation using GPT-5. For Cloud Sonnet 4, I will leave it to you to test it yourself. So once you launch the coding assistant, you get GPT-5 by default. And over here, we have the model switcher. We have GPT-5 non-thinking. You can select GPT-4.1 or the reasoning version of GPT-5. And at the bottom part, we can enter our prompt. You can also upload an image as reference. The button you see here allows you to set your project and add a context. And the one on the right is for auto apply. Whenever I enter a prompt here, the model will apply the changes automatically after generating the code. So previously, I created this simple animation using face animator. So using GPT-5, let's see if we can slow the animation down. So I'll press the return key to send the prompt. So we have an error. Once we click the error, there's an option to generate fix for issues. There's one error still remaining. So let's fix it in the same way. So with the prompt we added and fixing the errors, we have been able to slow down the animation as we see from the Xcode preview. We got the first error because the trailing animation closure, that is this one, was applied in a wrong position that was applied directly in the face animator closure instead of adding it to the ending closure that is this side. For the second error, it didn't add anything about ignoring the animation variable and also adding the in keyword. So over here, you can also add a variable. For example, I use this unlock variable for the face animation. So we can add the same variable here. So that works in the same way after adding the same variable. This makes it more readable. So this is how you can get started with GPT-5 and Cloud Sonnet 4 directly in Xcode 26 Beta 7.